here. And in this episode, I want to talk about how to increase your engagement with your audience. Three specific ways that you can get people to comment more, like you more, trust you more, respect you more, understand you more, which ultimately leads to a conversion. Connection is really what we're looking for. And in the last six months, I've really been diving in with my personal story. Making my personal story part of my personal brand to create that connective tissue. Because a story is one of the quickest ways that someone can know, like, and trust you. And it's one of the quickest ways that people believe what you're saying because your body shows them what you're saying, the way you depict yourself in the story, what people say about you, what happens around you. It allows people to understand you more, understand what's part of your DNA, what values do you have, why are you doing what you're doing, and story is really everything. But I want you to start thinking about not so much just story, make sure you've got one of those, make sure you're sharing one of those, but story increases engagement because we're social people. If you can think about sitting around the campfire, we love to tell stories. Sitting in the bar side by side, we love to tell stories. At dinner, we love to tell stories. But not everybody is ready to hear your story. Not everybody has been trained to want to listen to you and maybe know what you're all about. So I know you hear story, 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 put it in everything, and yes, that's so true, but I want you to take a step back, and I want you to start thinking about other ways that you can consistently provide value and start to train your audience to listen to your three to five to 10 minute story. So one of the, the first way, or one of the most important ways that you can train people is by picking one platform and consistently showing up on it. So what do I mean? A social media channel like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, maybe a blog, maybe a podcast. One way that you're gonna consistently share information with people, but you start short. So I wouldn't necessarily start with a podcast because these tend to be a little bit longer. But if you notice, my podcasts range anywhere from 15 minutes to 20 minutes to 30 minutes or 40 minutes when I have guests. But when it's just me, like this, talking to you, I try to keep it short, sweet, tons of value, on point, and I'm trying to train you to get used to me and what I'm all about and my style and my energy. And if what I'm teaching you is of value to you, that's what you get to decide. So for someone that maybe this is the first time they're listening to this podcast, 10, 15, 20 minutes is digestible as opposed to an hour. So I think one of the common mistakes that we make when we're trying to boost engagement and we're trying to get people to know, like, and trust us so that they want to do business with us, one of the very first problems we make is we try to give them everything but the kitchen sink on the first time they need us and we want to teach them absolutely everything we know and we have that scarcity mindset that, oh my God, if I don't wow the pants off them, they're not going to come back. And that's not true. Trying to give them everything but the kitchen sink overwhelms people and leads people to confusion and they don't get a quick win. So then no, they don't want to continue to do business with you or listen to you or download you or digest what you're saying to them because you've just become another person that's overwhelmed and confused them and stolen their time and energy. So I want you to start thinking shorter is better. 
So go live every day on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube with a little two, three minute video that shares one tip of the day. If you don't want to go live yet, you better get comfortable in video, make it a post, short, quick, above the fold post that gives a lot of value. I know a lot of experts will say, make these long posts, send out these long emails. People don't read it. They don't. We are a click and scroll kind of society now where if the first couple lines don't catch our attention or if the image isn't eye stopping or if the name of the live video isn't going to boost engagement, people aren't going to tune into it. So it's not so much about longer is better. When you're starting out, shorter is better and consistency is really key. So let's say you want to say five tips to create your first online course. Don't teach five in one video for 40 minutes because people might not have the time to fully digest that. Teach one tip over the course of five days. Keep it to 10, 20 minutes, maybe not even. If you're first starting out, keep it to five minutes if people don't quite know you. I want only you kind of know what the range of how people will tune into you and how long they'll listen to you. You only know that by testing it, but you gotta get out and go shorter is better because you want those quick wins, you want those quick ahas, you wanna be showing up consistently, right? We think that just because we put out five days worth of content or five emails that people tune in every single day and they open every single day your emails or they click and they watch that video every single day or they read that post every single day. They don't. People are so distracted. So they might catch tip number three or tip number two or tip number five, but if they know it's two of five, then they'll go back and they'll digest your other stuff. If they see, oh, these videos are only five minutes long and there's five of them, I can digest that. I can listen to that as opposed to one long video for 60 minutes or however long you normally put out content for. So I want you to think about A, what content have you previously put out that you could start chopping up into smaller bits and relaunching, reusing in terms of free content? I want you to think about, let's say your lead magnets or those things that you created to get that exchange of email. I was just having that conversation today where she said, I share five tips to save your, five strategies to save your relationship is my lead magnet. And I said, how is that converting for people? And she's like, not so good. And I said, yeah, because people don't need five strategies. They need one strategy. So why don't you do one over five days and let them pick what one strategy they're going to implement to get that quick win? Because for me, five strategies is confusing. Which one do I do? I don't know. How do I choose? Where do I start? We know that the confused mind is like, I'm out. No, because it's an energy thing. And now more than ever, people are tired. People are working hard. And I know people worked hard before, but now with access to email 24 seven and work from home and there's all sorts of stuff, it's like our work never stops. So if people have to use extra energy to decide what to do next, they're just not going to. It's like who reads the user manual of a VCR? I even think about like Ikea, when we put together Ikea furniture. My husband does not go point by point by point through the Ikea manual. He just starts slamming things together and pounding on things and, and off we go. Or it's like Lego, right? That's one where maybe because there's some building involved in there, I know when he helps our little guy do Lego, he kind of looks piece by piece by piece. But we know that Lego takes sometimes a long time to build. So he goes through it piece by piece by piece because he knows what to expect. So if you could break that up little by little by little, people won't get confused and they'll be willing to stay longer, give you their attention longer. When they get those quick wins, meaning you help them 
buy their house or sell their house faster. You help them with emotional eating. You help them eat a healthier breakfast. You help them knock it on the scale because it trips out their mind. You help them finally pick the first topic of their lead magnet or the name of their course or the outline for their course. You help them block time in their planner. You help them delegate something. You know kind of what your specialties are, but one thing at a time. So if you want to boost engagement, you got to train people to listen to you bit by bit by bit. And you've got to stay focused and talk about one thing that creates that win so that they want to know, Ooh, what's the next thing tomorrow that she's going to share with me? Or if it's a weekly series, they know what time to tune in and what to expect from you. And they want it. They crave it. They look forward to it. They're emailing you say, what are you going to talk about? What's next? As opposed to being overwhelmed. So if you want to boost engagement, consistency is key, but small chunks of information. And I'm talking about your social media channels again, just the ways that you consistently day in and day out talk to your ideal clients and your tribe. Number two, if you want to increase engagement in your audience, specifically when I'm talking about video, because you've got to start doing video, you can't resist it, you can't say no, it's been proven that it's one of the quickest ways to generate income and impact. You got to cut right to the chase. Again, live video makes me crazy when people are flipping with their hair and fussing with the light and, oh, I'm just going to wait for a couple minutes until people hop on. Such, again, a waste of people's time and energy. So you got to say that, like a one liner, hey, this is Lisa. Today I want to talk to you about building your first online course as a business strategist. Today I want to talk to you about X, Y, and Z because it's going to help you do X, Y, and Z. So again, people don't really care about you. They don't care about your degrees, your certifications, your agendas, how you're feeling, what's going on. Your, we think that they do. What's going on in your day, why you're so stressed out, why you're in your car, why you're walking down the street. People don't really care about that. They care about themselves and why they should tune in, why it's important, why they should listen, why what you have to say should take precedence energetically and what's going on in their day. So yeah, it's you. And again, if you're on live video or you're on social media, you don't need to say I'm a business coach, a content strategist. I'm a personal trainer, I'm a mom, I'm a this, I'm a that. Again, people will get that from your stories and the way that you can help people. So you gotta cut right to the chase. Hey, and again, no like happy Monday stuff, happy Friday, oh my gosh, just hey, it's Lisa. Today I'm talking to you about building your online course and finally getting that sucker launched because the longer you wait, the more money you're leaving on the table. The less people you're helping and someone else is going to come up, steal your idea, and you're going to be mad and bitter and broke. So let's go. Right? Something like that as opposed to, hey, it's Lisa. Happy Monday. How are you guys doing today? I woke up today and I had such and such to do. And then I had to get my kiddo off to school. And then I did this. And I'm a little bit tired. And I kind of have a headache. So I'm going to take another sip of my coffee. But the thought of today that I want to talk to you about is building your online course because I'm a business strategist and I'm a content expert and I really want to help you do that. Are you tired yet? I'm tired even saying it that way. So you want to cut to the chase because the first part you listen, there was urgency, there was excitement, there was the cost of inaction. If you didn't get your course up there and listen to this and go as opposed to all about me, 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 how I'm feeling, what I'm doing, eventually I get to you. So you want to boost engagement, cut to the chase right away. Tell them how you're going to help them, what you're going to teach them, and tell them why they need this information. Why is it important to their day-to-day -day life? And then number three, if you want to boost engagement in your audience, and I'm talking about 
when we're speaking, we're speaking from a stage, we're presenting, maybe you're on Zoom and you can actually, or Skype and you can actually see other attendees, somewhere where you can see the engagement of people. You can physically see if they're tuned into you or not tuned into you. So I think a lot of times when I'm speaking or presenting, you want to tell them how to think or how they do think to kind of get that commonality together. So you're like, anyone ever get frustrated that you have all these amazing thoughts in your head, but you can't seem to get it out on paper. You can't seem to get that course outline written and you can't seem to film that first video because you're so worried that it's not perfect and you're so worried about what other people are going to say. Just raise your hand. Does that happen to anybody? Any of you guys feel like that? That's how you boost that engagement where you post a question to them and you straight out say, how many of you have ever thought this? How many of you have ever struggled with this? How many of you can relate to this? Raise your hand. That creates that commonality of like that me too. I struggle too. I used to struggle with that. That is my current struggle. And we are safety in numbers. When we see that other people are being brave enough to raise their hand and go, yeah, that's me, or gets you thinking about your mindset, your current reality, your situation, that wakes people up. It makes it relevant to them because they're identifying, yes, this is me, yes, this is my struggle, and cool, you're gonna help me fix it. So really important that those phrases that we say to ourselves day in and day out, or those situations that we found ourselves in, <coughs> pardon me, before we had that solution, it's really, really important to make sure that we use those exact words. Because how many of you have been listening to somebody just incredibly motivational, incredibly educational, but all they've done is motivate, 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 teach, 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 and it's all them projecting on you. Again, well-intentioned, amazing information, but you start to kind of sort of lose yourself in there because maybe they're teaching something that you don't struggle with or they're teaching something that you feel you can never overcome. Like, yeah, that's great. All those other people understand technology. That's not me. Yeah, that's great. All those other people are awesome on live video. That's not me. So you could be teaching about how to go live on video, but if you don't say, have any of you ever looked at that red button and literally went to press it one time, two times, three times, four, and you, you stop right before you're about to press that sucker and you pause because you don't know how to introduce yourself. You know whether to say, hey, it's Lisa. Hey, it's Lisa. Hi, it's Lisa. Hey, how's, uh, what, who, uh, uh, right? How many of you ever felt like that? You're so freaking nervous to even just introduce yourself and you're thinking, oh my God, how am I ever gonna get through a 10 minute sales video? How many of you ever felt that way? Right? You tell people how they think or what they've been thinking and you get them to raise their hand. That's going to boost that engagement that puts you all on that same level playing field. And then, as we talked about to circle back in the beginning, if you can go through a story of when that happened in your life and that was true, then you've got them. Then they're with you. Then they're running to the end. So I want you to get out there more. We've got, I don't know, 40-some days left in this year, right? What day is it today? November something, something? November 5th? Oh, my God. Right? we got less than two months left. So you got to start putting yourself out there if you want the income and the impact and the following and the engagement that you know you need to serve the world the way that you were given those gifts to go and do that. As an entrepreneur, you're here for a reason. You're trying to put yourself out there and get out there because something deep inside of you is burning 
that you got to spread your message and you got to go big or you wouldn't be listening to podcasts. You wouldn't be working on yourself. You wouldn't be doing the personal development. You wouldn't be putting yourself out there. But I want to challenge you to put yourself out there even bigger and get even more engagement in your audience. So I don't want you to tick it off like it's a to-do. I don't want you to make that video, write that email, autoresponder, shoot that you know, webinar, the evergreen webinar, create that course, go live, post that thing, put that picture here. I don't want you to just do it for the sake of doing it. I want you to, good old Stephen Covey, begin with that end in mind. What is the commonality? What's the goal that you want with whatever piece you're putting out? So if it's engagement of your audience, train your audience with short, quick wins, short, quick tips. Start with two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes before you start going into longer things like podcasts or long blog reads or long teaching YouTube videos, or even that long sales video. You gotta train them first to digest what you're putting out there. Number two, you gotta cut to the chase. Honor people's time, get right in there on video. Don't be flicking with your hair and messing with things and talking all about you and your day. You, their problems, how you can help them, why this is necessary. And lastly, when you're live in front of people, tell them how to think. See, yeah, me too. Any of you ever thought about that, said that, been there, done that, raise your hand, create that commonality amongst people. And I promise you, you're going to get that following and that engagement when you do this consistency. And it's proven when you connect more with people, as long as you got the technology and the place to make some monies and just send them to, it's going to convert. Now, you need help with any of this strategy. Anything I talked about in the last 15, 20 minutes, lisa at lisapizic.com, very bottom of every single page, you'll see discovery call. Let's get on to free call. Let's talk strategy because if you're stuck in overwhelm, if you're stuck in not knowing what to do, you don't got many days left in this year. And I want to give you one thing to bust through that block. You don't think we can do it in 15 minutes? Try me, baby. Let's hop on. Let's do it. Let's go. The world needs you and your message. Lisa at lisapizik.com. Head there, book your call, and I'll see you again next time.